Welcome to Pink and Purple, your show with myself, Princess Mbofu. And today we are talking about the plus size modeling industry. So when someone thinks or pictures a model, they envision a tall, slim, beautiful woman strutting down the runway. But today we are focusing more on the plus size modeling industry and how it's been growing over the years. And joining me in the studio today are two amazingly beautiful women, Nozi and Wuhle. But before we get to talk to them, let's see this performance by Capital C. Enjoy it. So if you were to come up to me and ask me, what is my biggest pet peeve? I would tell you that my biggest pet peeve is me sitting with three respectable gentle brothers in a taxi and they're busy complaining, she says, let's do that. See, I have to minimize myself. I have to try and deflate myself so that their overinflated egos can fit into that taxi seat. I mean, really, sometimes I even try to even low-key volunteer to pay a dollar because I really need to free my mind from from this Isidusa thing. What is fat? Fat is bold, fat is confidence, fat is the jewel of Africa. The jewel of Africa may be the diamond, it may be the gold, but the jewel of Africa is the plus size woman. Thank you so much, Capital C, for the amazing performance. And joining me in the studio, as I said earlier, are two amazing ladies, Wuhle and Nozi. How are you ladies doing? Good. We're doing fine. You guys don't sound fine. You're like, good, <laughs> fine. And, and tell me more about Wuhle. Who's Wuhle? Well, um, Wuhle is a 20-year-old woman. And I just started a movement, mm -hmm. a big girls movement. And the name of the group is called Big Girls Supremacy. Okay, and uh, Nozi, tell me more about yourself. Well, I'm also part of that team. We're actually both founders of that. I'm a 23-year-old woman, young woman maybe I should say, and very proud to be a plus-size model. So we started this uh, group where we started talking to plus-size models, plus-size women, talking to them about joining us and feeling comfortable in their own skin. Okay, mm -hmm. and tell me more about uh, the Big Girls Supremacy, that's what it's called, right? Yes. yes. Can you tell me more about that group? So Big Girls Supremacy has um, about seven models. Not, they're not plus size, mm -hmm. exactly, but they have that extra meat that we're looking for. Okay. Uh -huh. And so we do photo shoots. We uh, have events, um, different types of events. Okay. Um, and then we do have meetings whereby we invite um, other big girls and talk about their borders, mm -hmm. the challenges that they face, mm -hmm. um, and talk about a whole lot of things. Okay. You said that uh, it has models who are not exactly plus size. What mm -hmm. size does one have to be to qualify as a plus size model? Well, for plus size models, you need to be, let me say, a size 38 and above. So basically, when, when you're a big, it also comes with a big belly, big breasts and all that. Mm -hmm. So you, you tend to wear clothes that are a bit more bigger than any other person. So we usually range it from 38 and above. Because 36 is a bit more smaller, mm -hmm. maybe depending on also the body types of other people. Some people are big boned, some people have more flesh. Okay. So they're different. All right, let's talk about the plus size modeling industry in Zimbabwe. Is there an industry to begin with for plus size models? Mm, no, mm -hmm. I don't think there is. Because if there was, maybe um, other movements would be noticed, yeah. especially mm -hmm. my movement, our movement. Yeah. Actually. Okay. So um, right now we're only based on social media, mm -hmm. um, Facebook, Instagram only. Mm -hmm. But if we, if there was. I think maybe we'll be out there, we'll be noticed, everyone will like know about it and know about us as well. Okay, so what exactly needs to be, to be done for us to be able to say, okay, in Zimbabwe we do have a plus size model? In Africa, we are naturally big. Big, yes, that is true. Yeah, and we're naturally we should start embracing big. that exactly. we're naturally big, right? But the problem is um, other countries, they put out on social media um, a concept that a mentality that when you're a bit more slimmer mm -hmm. you are beautiful so people tend to listen to that and then they stray from who they are so what I'm saying is as Zimbabweans as Africans we are originally big we didn't ask for it 
We didn't eat to get here. We were just, we're just born, born like, like yes, this. Yes. So we should embrace it. Embrace the extra skin that you have. Because extra skin means extra beauty. Exactly. And mm -hmm. um, the fashion industry as well as uh, beauty pageants over the years, they've created this uh, image of what a model is supposed to look like. You yes. know, tall, Definitely. slim, uh -huh. uh, and they have to Flat walk tummy. a certain way. Yes. Exactly. How has that affected the growth of the uh, plus size modeling industry? People don't really um, understand what it's like to be big. So um, they tend to say things that, um, like body shaming. Okay, let me talk yes. about body shaming. Yes. Um, you post a picture on Facebook or Instagram, and people start um, saying negative things, like, why are you wearing that? Mm -hmm. um, why are you doing this? doesn't this? look good yeah. as you exactly. because of the particular mm -hmm. body shape yes. you lose have. That, yeah. uh -huh. Lose that, do this, exercise, mm -hmm. and so forth. And actually, it's really not about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, So it's about uh, your confidence. Mm -hmm. It's about how you feel. I think it's basically em embracing yourself, it's loving yourself who you the are. way you are. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And after this break, we'll talk more about um, how the modeling industry, the plus size modeling industry can be grown and more embraced in Zimbabwe. Do stay with us. Welcome back. You're still tuned into Pink and Pepper with myself, Princess Mbafu. And today we're talking about the issue of the plus size modeling industry and how over the years it's been growing. And just because the industry has been growing over the years doesn't mean that the plus size models or the big girl problems automatically disappear. Mm -hmm. What are some of the problems that you've been facing over the years as a plus size model? Well, there's so many. I don't even know where to start. Stigmatization okay. is one yes. of them because there are people... Like she was saying uh, before the break that whenever you post a picture, mm -hmm. there will someone who will comment about it and say, lose that weight, lose the belly, uh, wear that better. Some people even go to the extent of asking if you're sick. They will tell you you're going to be sick. You're that is have diabetes. You're going to have BP at a, at a young age. And I think uh, when, you, when we're doing this, we mm -hmm. should also tell people that being big doesn't mean you're prone to get these diseases. Being big, you can be big and healthy. Yes, and it's a time. choice as well, yes. right? You choose to yes. be big. You choose you to, want be big. to be big, exactly. And, you know, it's, it's stigmatization is so bad because I've, I've talked to a few girls before mm -hmm. who go through that to the extent that they starve themselves. And it's not good because someone gets to be anorexic at the end of the day because they, they don't want people to see yes, them as they fat. want to they, they want, want to lose the weight they want to fit definition. exactly and uh you you're talking about the issue of uh, stigma and how uh people the plus size models are stigmatized over the mm -hmm. years and how does it make you feel you know to have people talk something like that about you or about the big girls it's actually heartbreaking mm -hmm. it's heartbreaking it's sad it's it touches someone because mm -hmm. you can be a stress eater. Mm -hmm. You can mm -hmm. start eating and eating every time when someone posts a funny comment or when they say something bad, you start to hate yourself. Yeah, that's true. Uh -huh. You start, um, some people eat a lot, mm -hmm. some just starve decide themselves. to starve themselves. Mm -hmm. So the best way to deal with this, you just have to ignore what people say. Mm -hmm. Yes, But that's you know, true. it's not easy to just wake it's up and say, I'm going to ignore what people are saying. What's the process like of trying to say, you know what, I'm going to ignore what people are saying. I don't care what they say about me. Love yourself. It all comes from loving yourself. If you love yourself and you're comfortable with yourself, mm -hmm. trust me, there will be a lot of people that will say a lot of things and it will not even get inside your ears. Because you left home, you looked at yourself in the mirror yes. and you said, I am beautiful, I love my skin, mm -hmm. I am perfectly fine the way I am. Anyone who will accept me the way I am, good for them. If you don't accept me the way I am, it's okay. You're allowed to, you know, have your own opinions. So if you love yourself, no matter what people say, you won't really get it in your brain. Yeah, you won't, you won't really mm -hmm. care. Yeah. Um, so what are some of the uh, strategies maybe to try and make sure that people uh, adjust to plus size models and they accept them for who they are without trying to change them? Well, I think the best thing is to educate people mm -hmm. about us first. Um, as much as other countries have persuaded people to think that being slim is beautiful, mm -hmm. we need to do also the same thing and say 
being thick is also it's, beautiful. Because it is beautiful, it is right? very beautiful. So, and also the fact that as Africans, we have been um, named to be a, a country or a continent that has big women. Yes. So we need to be educated about that and say, this is how you define yourselves. You are big women. That's, a, that's who you are from our ancestors. They were big. So we should embrace that. And, and people should be educated about that. Yes, and um, you know, over the years we've seen uh, quite a number of beauty pageants that uh, incorporate uh, big girls or plus size mm -hmm. yes. models, right? But is the support enough to get you to where exactly you want to be? Mm. I don't think it's enough. I don't think it's enough because um, not everyone attends um, a beauty pageant. <clears throat> not everyone is comfortable with um, um, doing that walking in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you comfortable with doing? <laughs> what are you comfortable with doing? I'm usually comfortable with um, maybe trying other things like um, photo shoots, maybe, because I think photo shoots also work because we've done that as a group, as a, the Girl Supremacy. Mm -hmm. Yes, I saw some yeah. of the pictures. You guys look so awesome on those photo shoots. <laughs> yeah, we've done really photo look shoots. good. Yeah, thank you so much. So we've done photo shoots uh -huh. where we uh, wear clothes that show our stretch marks, that show the cellulite, and that show the lumps and bumps. Yes, yes. because people should start appreciating exactly. that, right? So we call them love handles. That's how we make them feel, you know, comfortable. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so photo shoots work very well to try and make people feel comfortable because most of the time, big girls, when you say you take a picture, mm -hmm. she wants to close to that extra skin. To big tummy exactly. and yes. So she you need to, to be everything. comfortable. Don't, don't wear those clothes that are going to, you know, make your body to suffocate because you're trying to close that skin. You need to let it out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, how about the issue of support? What support exactly are you getting or do you want to get from the society? Um, we need to have more beauty pageants that are, uh, in, like have big girls. And uh, we also need to, in the fashion industry, mm -hmm. we also need them to make clothes for people our size. Yeah, exactly, yeah. because, you know, if you look at uh, most runway shows, they yes. don't incorporate no, they big don't. girls, mm. which is really uh, highly unfair yeah, because yes, they is. also want to look good. You know, they also want to wear <laughs> uh, nice clothes. Mm -hmm. So what advice would you give to someone who wants to venture into the modeling industry in their plus size? But, you know, they are so close that because they're thinking maybe people are not going to accept me for who I am or mm. for the way I look. What advice would you give them? Okay, like no, she said, she said um, you should love yourself. So they should definitely love themselves. You should um, care less about what people say. Mm -hmm. They should just do whatever their mind tells them. They should be themselves and everything will be okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, Nozi? Well, I, let me start off by saying if you are naturally big, no matter how much you try to exercise or stop eating, you will never, it's, it's never going to work. I tried that before mm -hmm. when people started, you know, saying things about the way I looked mm -hmm. and I tried it and I was still big. So I, I, I ended up telling myself that this is how God created me. He yes. put extra sand. And I can never change who I am. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what I can tell people to love themselves the way they are. And, you know, always look in the mirror. Whatever you tell your brain, mm -hmm. that's what your brain tells your body and, and keeps it also. Yes. So wake up in the morning, look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love my stretch mics. We call them tiger stripes. <laughs> but tigers. The tiger stripes. Exactly. I like that. We that's are tigers. Really so we've got we've got that that extra sand that God uh -huh. put. We've got you know the, the the painting, everything, it's there. So you need to look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you're beautiful. And that's how it's gonna be. That's a very interesting conversation I just went ahead with you ladies and you were really awesome. And we'll be right back with you as we take a break. Stay with us. Welcome back. This is the third and final segment of Pink and Bubble, where we get our guests to loosen up by playing a game, the quick tease. We get to ask them questions and mm -hmm. they pick questions from this ball and they get to answer the questions. There is no, I don't know, I don't have an answer. Thank so goodness. I will start with you, Wusha, you do the honors. <laughs> you give me the question, I read it for you. Okay. Let's see what the question says for you. 
Um, what was your worst combi experience? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like the worst thing that's ever happened to you in a combi. Um, okay, I remember this one time mm-hmm. when um, I was running late to school. And I just had to sit at the right at the door thing. Uh-huh. I and hate that sit by the way. It's <laughs> oh, terrible. Yeah. I hate it too. So um, I had no choice but to sit there, mm-hmm. but I never sit there. So when I was sitting there, the what do they call them? The wind, the door operator, whatever. <laughs> the door the, the windies. windies. <laughs> no, we don't call them the door operators. <laughs> okay, yes, the wind offered. Yeah. He, I, I don't know what he was doing, but he fell. And when he was when he was like um, falling, held on he to held you. On to me. you. Oh. oh my gosh! And you're so, like, oh. I, I just didn't know what to do, but I was so angry. And <laughs> I just had to Did you shout at him? You look like the quiet type. You're gonna be like, it's okay. I'm not really quiet. I just left my inner diva at home. Mm. Oh, <laughs> please bring your inner diva. <laughs> okay. You, um... Okay. Let's see what the question says for you. If you could be a superhero, what power would you possess and why? Um, I would want to have a power of uh, jumping from very tall buildings and landing on my feet and not breaking. <laughs> why? Wait, is that a dream of yours of just jumping off a building? Yeah. Of all the powers you want to... You know to, why? Why? Because as a big person mm-hmm. they always think that we can't run we get tired oh, yes. easily you can't be active we can't be active so i want to jump and be active all yeah. the time oh. <laughs> okay it's your turn now um it says um what is the first thing that you notice about the opposite sex <laughs> yes what is the first thing you notice about a man like when you see a man, you're like, what's the first thing you see? Um, height. Height. His height. His height. I always height. kind of notice the shoes. Really? Really? Yes. Because I feel like the shoes say everything about what kind of a man he is. Well, we can't have a small guy, <laughs> can we? Oh, yes. <laughs> so no, we need a sense. tall guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Hmm. Mm. If you woke up as a man, what is the first thing that you would do? I would shave my armpits. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my god! These men don't do that. I, I, I would, that so, men don't I would shave, their armpits. shave and oh and, and just put some extra well, have cologne you ever on my had skin. An unshaved oh. armpit experience, mm. Mm. girl. I, I don't even want to imagine <laughs> that. <laughs> okay. Um, Uh, if you were a parent, what would be your biggest fear? Assuming uh, you're not a parent yet. Yeah, I'm not. Okay. Well, my biggest fear would... Um, I'm a skinny baby. <laughs> Why are you guys... You're supposed to be talking to me. I'm scared you're supposed to have to a be... skinny baby. Why? I'm just saying, well, you what's wrong with I skinny want a baby? baby? You want a chubby baby? Yes. <laughs> what would be your biggest fear? Um, I mean, I think my biggest fear would be not being able to... To be a hero, he or she thinks yes, yes. you to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What would be your experience? Well, my biggest fear would um, um, I wouldn't want her to get pregnant as a teenager. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah. That's I, I think that's every mom's fear. Hey, mm-hmm. yeah. it's it's really scary. Okay. okay, I need to find the easiest question. I, I hope guess. it's an interesting <laughs> one too. Easy but interesting. Ah, who's your celebrity crush and why? My celebrity crush. Yes. And why? Yes. <sighs> John Travolta. Why? He's just so manly. Oh my god! <laughs> the way you say like it's just so. You manly. know what? I, I don't know I, if it's just me, but me as a big person, I'm mm-hmm. very attracted to a tall, tall muscle big. guy. Yes. Because of I cannot be walking with a small guy. No, no, no. Do so John sense, Travolta right? is, you know, even at his age, he's still. <laughs> He's still there. He's still got it. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you were appointed president for a day, what would you change? I would. That's the question. I would 
definitely change the society. Mm -hmm. I would definitely want people to see um, big girls as people, as women, as Normal people, people is normal people and not yeah. stigmatize yes, them, yes, right? Yes, yeah, yes, yes. that needs to be done. Yeah. I think even the current president needs to ensure oh, that. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you lost a body part, where would the pain be? Mm. If I lost a body part, mm -hmm. where would the pain be? Yes. Yeah, it is. Um, I don't know if I'm going to answer this the right way, mm -hmm. but if I lost my thighs, oh. I would lock myself in the room forever. You're so, you, lo you love your thighs. I you love know, I'm, thighs. I'm happy because you embrace the way you look. I love and that is them. what every women should do. Yes. Every woman should embrace the way they look. They shouldn't be ashamed mm. or feel like, you know what, I don't want to look like this. Yes. I want to look like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, if people want to get in touch with you, how do people get in touch with the ladies? Um, well, on Instagram mm -hmm. uh, at uh, Full Cream Figure and then uh, on Facebook for, um, we're, on Facebook it's uh, Big, Big Girl Supremacy. Okay. And then on my individual Instagram I am she is Noxie. She underscore is underscore Noxie. Okay. Mm -hmm. And my Instagram um, handle is Bushle Swellen 97. Mm -hmm. And on Facebook, I'm Bushle Swellen today. Okay, thank you mm -hmm. so much, ladies, for joining us on the show today. Thank it was a pleasure yeah. uh, having you here. And thank I you. really do hope for the best for you in your, in your oh, careers and you. in whatever that you decide to do. And thank you so much for joining us right here on Pink and Purple today. See you next time.